kaise ho bhai logo yahan pe rockstar ke phoope ki gaand phad gayi ladies and gentlemen today we got more leaks to talk about okay we got the lucia bruna getting leaked out once again we got gta 6 online leaks to go over some gameplay leaks as well and apparently we're also going to talk about as always the when is where is the trailer number two when are we going to get the trailer number two we got some news on it and we got a video there's a video that i want to share with you like the video if you just want a good game without shark cards and microtransactions dislike the video if you love shark cards if you love if you want to see shark card 2.0 if you want to see a gta plus as well all right shout out to the homie hazard let's roll it number 10 money laundering one of the most interesting changes we might see in GTA 6 will be the addition of a money laundering mechanic through purchasable properties. One of the leaked clips shows a car wash with an icon of a washing machine that has a dollar sign in the center. This is the universal symbol for money laundering, and it's probably similar in function to businesses from previous GTA games. However, there's one important detail here. Never before has a GTA game encouraged you to hide your illegal activities under threat of investigation. You could be <laughs> selling rocket launchers, running an unlicensed liquor store. Heck, you could probably drive through the middle of the city with- I, I think Rockstar is gonna do a money laundering on the fans, bro, like- <laughs> I really hope they don't do that, man. I don't want Shark Cards 2.0, man. You, you suckers better let us do the money glitches, man. Yo, where are, yo, you, you guys, one in the comments if you want money glitches in online, two in the comments if you don't want it. I want to know where you at. We're going to talk about it. crystal blue strapped to the roof Wait of your car, it. and nobody would bat an eye. But the very fact that we have to hide the true nature of our businesses in GTA 6 means that it might have some kind of witness report or cop investigation system that puts your business at risk of getting raided if you get caught doing shady deals. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but imagine how cool that would be. Running a business would involve an entirely new layer of depth and complexity that we haven't seen before instead of endlessly spamming resupply and sell missions till you see the money counter go up to your preferred amount i feel like that we might need a playstation 20 for that to work number nine metro system Oh yeah, this one was leaked right. too, right? The next yeah, change yeah, comes yeah. in the form of a metro system. This isn't exactly new, as GTA 5 already features a metro line, but the one in GTA 6 will be based on the real-life Miami Metro Mover. What is new, though, is that there's also a second train line that connects the Vice City International Airport, which is of course based on Miami International Airport, and this one has its own metro mover as well. In-game, this train line is referred to as Vice City Metro Mule, and from the leaked clip, it's apparent that you'll have a whole new level of detail when it comes to these trains and their respective stations. More NPCs, better passenger AI, new ways to rob and hijack trains, the possibilities here are endless. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, even Cyberpunk was supposed to have a, a massive uh, subway ride train uh, subway system, but apparently it had to cut it down because we don't have PlayStation 20, guys. <laughs> no, but I think this is a... Uh, we're we're going to get it this time. There has to be. Come on now, we got to get it. Number eight character switching. So Lucia and Jason, right? With three different playable okay. characters in GTA 5, Rockstar introduced the concept of switching between characters and experiencing the same content from a different point of view. However, these switches can take an eternity, even on current-gen consoles like the PlayStation 5, which boasts super fast loading time. That's because GTA 5 was never designed to take advantage of next-gen storage protocols as well as the PCIe Express NVMe drives. But guess yeah. what? Yeah, GTA yeah. 6 is designed with these new hardware advances in mind, and we can see evidence of that in one of the leaked clips where both Jason as well as Lucia are inside of a motel. The player switching between them, and it's so fast that it takes you a while to even realize what's going on. Instantaneous is the only way to describe this kind of speed. And it can significantly change the way you conduct a heist or robbery in the game because you can yep. literally swap to a different body in real time with a zero delay so that you can get the most advantageous spot. <laughs> Your brother just put a horizontal like um, effect on it. <laughs> just switch it up. No, that's good. That's good, man. I love that, man. I like that video. I like the video, Kanji. In a gunfight or silence a witness who's about to report you to the police, etc. Number seven, police and witness system. That, and speaking of witnesses here. The, the cop system need to be better in this game. Oh, absolutely. And I hope like we get like six stars in, in, instead of five. You'll like the video if you want six stars instead of five star. I hope they do five stars uh, and six stars as well, right? Maybe even seven. Yeah, do seven, bro. Who cares, right? At seven stars, you get the aliens involved, right? Like that's what I want to see. Just like how, just like how Sekizora at Rockstar Games uh, ended up getting the aliens involved in order to find out who leaked the gameplay and the Lucia Bruna, man. I, I want the same threat level in the game as well, right? Like st seven stars, the aliens, motherfucking aliens got involved on your ass, bro. We want that. GTA 6 will also have a brand new witness system that's similar in concept to the witness system from Red Dead Redemption 2, but this time with a whole lot of new features. First off, witnesses have different states of informational awareness. In a leaked clip that shows Jason and Lucia robbing Hank's Waffle, one of the many diners in the game, we can see certain witnesses with a different colored marker above their heads. For example, yellow would indicate that the witness has a partial description, while red means that they have a full description of categories like your height and build, the clothes you're wearing, your race, and maybe even the weapons you're carrying. In addition okay. to player recognition, witnesses also also provide data on your vehicle type and color to the police, which means that it's now a good idea to switch vehicles frequently if you're trying to escape the cops. Unlike previous GTA games, cops don't just spawn in at random. They have a dispatch timer, and they wait for witnesses' reports to pile up before they show up on the scene. GTA 6 also has witness intimidation tactics that you can use to silence or threaten the hostages during a robbery, so it might be possible to pull off a heist without a single cop showing up to the scene if you play it off perfectly. Damn! 
And, and yeah, right in Cyberpunk, I, I I remember the I remember the cops were spawning out of enemies and NPCs' butthole. So I, I really hope we don't have that problem in GTA 6, man. I don't want to see like the cops spawning out of <laughs> NPCs' butthole, bro. Number six, hacking. Oh yeah! Oh, Another yeah. new mechanic that might be introduced to GTA 6 is hacking, and this one's likely to be Lucia exclusive. Remember how in GTA 5 each of the three characters had unique abilities? Franklin is a driving god, Michael is a basically Max Payne, and Trevor can switch into Berserker mode, which turns him into a raging maniac who can tank loads of damage. Well, it looks like GTA 6 is bringing this feature back, but this time with loads of new enhancements. Now, you've got a whole new way to interact. We need the GTA 6 leaker in the game, man. We need the GTA 6 leaker. And, and yeah, where's the GTA 6 leaker, man? We haven't even had any update, man. That's the craziest part, guys. Like, holy crap, bro. So the guy that leaked the Lucia Brunette, right, all the way back in September of 2022, it was a dark night, guys. It was a dark night, man. I was like, I was up, I was playing. I remember the, uh, one of the Call of Duty beta at that time, I believe, the Modern Warfare 2022 beta. Yay! I was up uh, that night, it was like 1, 2 a.m. Eastern time, and everybody on Twitter was like, and that's when X was called Twitter. You know, Twitter is now X, that's what the, yeah, you know, that's what you call it. But back in the days, it was simple, man, simple times, simple times, man. Like, playing Modern Warfare 2022 beta, everybody on Twitter went crazy. GTA 6 gameplay leak, GTA 6 gameplay leak, right? Some people saying, nah, fake, 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 this is fake, this is fake, this is, <laughs> this is fake. But turned out it was real. Somebody ended up leaking the Lucia Bruna, and uh, it was, the guy that leaked it was, uh, Orion Kurtaj, right? That's his name. He was arrested as well and later found out he used the Amazon Fire Stick to leak it, bruh. <laughs> the Amazon Fire bruh. Stick to leak it. And so far, we don't know what happened. It feels like that he's still in captivity. It feels like that he's still locked up. Damn, man. Like, over... Yo, so what? People got to see the Lucia Bruna dog. So what? People got to see the gameplay. Yasuk is be acting like he murdered somebody. Now, of course, he leaked it and the way he leaked it wasn't correct. Yeah, let's be real. He broke the law. But like, damn! Yusuk is acting like he murdered somebody, man. Let, let the leaker go. Free the leaker. Free the leaker. As a brown man, I demand the leaker to be free. <laughs> Immediately, okay? We still do not know what happened to him, man. That is crazy. This like is crazy. Interact with the world through hacking. Was Rockstar inspired by Watch Dogs for this one? Maybe. From the leak footage, we can see that Lucia carries a lot of specialized electronic warfare gear like tracking jammers, immobilizer bypass for luxury vehicles, USB drives to infiltrate computer systems, and auto dialers. I suspect that these won't be time gated like the abilities in GTA 5, which means you don't need to build up your special meter. Okay, number five, Eagle Eye. Did we have something While like Lucia that? While Lucia is a hacker, in, uh... Jason may be a master thief, and he can immediately spot any and all objects of interest within a certain radius by using an ability that looks very similar to the Eagle Eye ability from Red Dead Redemption 2. So things like jewelry, safes, security cameras, and guards will be highlighted on your screen as soon as you activate Jason's ability. I really hope they don't turn Jason into a... Strong, independent character. I need to know. Yeah, I really hope it's a masculine man, because like right now, just looking at him... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You know, I I hope like it, they don't they don't butcher Jason, man. Like, damn, he looks hard. He looks hard. Like the character looks really, really good, strong, uh, as well. In, in the trailer, from the trailer, he looks very good. But I don't know if they're gonna turn him around or not. I hope they don't, though. And this ties into the robbery and heist focus theme of GTA 6, because it is rumored that you can rob practically any business, residence, or office building within this game. Unlike previous GTAs that had a very specific restriction on which places you can rob, this game, it seems like it's going to be very more free. Yeah, I, I hope we have Rockstar games that we can rob at in the game. <laughs> and triple building. And that's possible ah. only with a new interior generation engine that relies on artificial intelligence to draw up unique interiors based on different combinations of pre-existing blocks. Now, does this mean that your copy of GTA 6 will be secretly running an AI program in the background? No, it's just a marketing buzzword for algorithmically generated content. This AI isn't even close to an actual neural network that's capable of learning from its environment. And it's more like the procedurally generated environments you may see in a game like No Man's Sky, for example. Again, mm. take all this with a grain of salt since we don't have any way to confirm this right now. However, yeah. the parent company of Rockstar, Take-Two Interactive, did file a patent in 2017 titled System and Method for Game Object and Environment Generation. In this patent, they explain how multiple unique layouts for the interior of a building can be created by playing with existing parameters. Because of this okay. feature, GTA 6 will also have lots of enterable buildings, at least a lot more than any previous GTA game. And this yeah. makes sense because the core draw of this game is going to be its emphasis on theft. Yeah, that, that, no, the way he put it, that's actually perfect because uh, right now we're hearing that 70% of the buildings gonna, are going to be enterable and let's be real, I don't, I, I don't buy that. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have PlayStation 50, bro. Like, you would need PlayStation 50 for that to work. 70% of all buildings gonna be enterable when we know that the map is gonna be approximately two times bigger than the map of GTA 5. Like, what are we talking about? That's like, you know what I mean, right? Like, either every building is gonna look the same 
Yeah, I just don't believe that. If that happens, that would be crazy. Don't get me wrong, though. That would be crazy. But what about GTA 6 online, right? Think about this for a second. If 70% of all buildings are enterable, does that mean that they're going to be also enterable in online? How does that... How would that work? That You would need a lot of processing power, man. With especially how many people we're going to have in the game, right? Uh, apparently, the player count was leaked out. I don't remember fully. But they're saying that it's going to be the same as GTA 5. I believe it's 24 something. Yeah, right? Uh, could be wrong. 24 or 36. Could be wrong. We need more players. We need more players on the map. I hope it's 100 at least at the very minimum. We get like 100 people. And if they do decide to have 100 people, yeah, man, 70% of all buildings enterable? Nah, bro. Like, that seems hard. Seems hard uh, for PlayStation 5 and Series X to do. Maybe PlayStation 50? Yes, it will be able to do, man. At that point, we're gonna get the entire map of the America, man. USA, 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 USA. Right? We, we might get that then, but till then, nah. Probably not, but I, I guess it's safe to say that a lot more buildings are going to be enterable. I guess that's uh, the way you put it, for sure. I like Being that. able to walk into any diner or gas station at will, no matter how small or remote, and then robbing the counter at gunpoint. Number three, buddy comms. Okay. The number oh, three no. most interesting change on my list today is GTA 6's new buddy comms feature that lets Lucia and Jason communicate with each other in the middle of a robbery. This is super cool because now you get live status updates from your partner who can tell you how much money they've robbed, whether any cops are in sight, and how the hostages are holding up. If you want, you can even ping locations on the map and ask your partner to follow you. Combined with zero delay character switching, it adds a great level of player freedom and gameplay depth that previous GTA games could only dream of. Number two, movement system. Since GTA 4, the series has transformed into a third-person cover shooter, but GTA 6 isn't content with leaving things the way they are previously. It will introduce new cover mechanics that allow for more dynamic gunfights, like a dedicated cover mode, as well as the ability to switch which shoulder you're firing from while oh, holding yeah. a rifle. The leaks also show that Jason can use his weapon to protect his face while crouched and advancing under fire. It also looks- GTA 4 was the good, bro. GTA 4 was the good. I, I really like that game. I, I And yeah, part of me really want to see New York City come back for the next game but i also do want to see like something different as well like a new new city a, a city that we have never seen before in gta if you could pick one city which one would you want yeah so far we have seen L las vegas los angeles right miami new york right what else what else have we seen uh, yeah I, I guess that's about san francisco but san fierro right that was in in uh, los santos gta los santos or gta san andreas my bad <laughs> right yeah we have seen it but but to be fair though las vegas las venturas in gta san andreas and san fierro san francisco in gta san andreas they were not that detailed though they were very very small uh i i guess even los santos los angeles was very very small so therefore they remastered or not necessarily remastered they made a brand new game gta 5 like duh so you you got that Right, so I think for a few years, uh, for I guess in the case of Rockstar, a few decades, <laughs> few decades, man, we're not gonna we're not gonna see Los Angeles for a few decades. That's good. We're gonna see Miami, and Miami is gonna be really, really sick. So I guess we're not gonna see that for a few years either. I think they're gonna either wanna do Las Vegas or San Francisco or maybe even New York City. But I say let's do something completely different. If they perhaps if they ever do New York City or Las Vegas or San Francisco, I wouldn't be too mad though. But I feel like that. It's time that they do a new city. And if you could pick one city, which one would you want? I, I would love to see, like, Dubai, uh, something like that as well, Tokyo. But but see, these are the types of cities that are outside of the U.S., so I don't think they're going to do it. Maybe even Toronto, uh, but that's Canada, so I don't think they're going to do it. Chicago, maybe? Right? Maybe Chicago? Uh, but at that point, I'd rather just take Las Vegas over that, you know what I'm saying? Looks like GTA 6 will have elements of stealth built into its gameplay here, and that's going to allow you to slither in and out of gunfights at will without really catching the attention of your enemies. Number one, dynamic physics. And finally, we've got dynamic physiques, just <laughs> yeah. like GTA San Andreas. Yeah, you can make your character look like like that right i remember like making my character chubby in san andreas yeah I, that's the first thing that i will do man i'll make lucia looking like this first of all let me actually show you guys this uh, <laughs> yeah imagine you can make lucia looking like this in the game <laughs> that would be crazy man that would be crazy yes but this time even more advanced since this game is over 20 years newer saying that out loud makes me feel really old and i know there are many of you watching this video Damn. who weren't even born when san andreas was released that just goes Holy. to show that good ideas are truly timeless here everyone loved the dynamic physiques in san andreas as they could customize their version of cj to look entirely different from someone else's cj Damn. and that feature tranquilo papi stop uh, throwing punches like that papi added a level of role playing in the game that hasn't really been replicated since then by any other rockstar game hopefully gta 6 brings back all of this and adds new features to make it even more realistic this time around right now guys check out this video on the screen we recently had brand new leaks as well we got gameplay leaks and heist leaks as well for gta 6
we done that video just recently check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left got an insane amount of drama and insane amount of copium kaji